welcome back. We're on board the Axial FCX6 Honcho. Looking through my uh, Insta360 uh, 360 lens right now. Pretty cool camera. I can spin the spin the view any direction I want. I can do object tracking too. Well, gonna do a quick little trip up the up the creek. Well, 16 minutes worth of quick. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you have content on your channel, I'll subscribe back. Quick and easy way to get a subscriber to your channel. <clears throat> I think on this day I, I ran here, then I went, jumped in the car and uh, went to another spot and ran it at another spot. And while I was at that spot, I ran my uh, Northwest Scalar Designs TRX4 and ran the uh, <clears throat> Traxxas Canyon uh, tires cut, the treads cut, and uh, the J Concepts landmines. Uh, testing them both out in the creek. So that's, those are the runs I did this day. Uh, it's uh, I'm editing this on April 30th. So I'm not sure when you guys will see this. It'll be sometime towards middle to end of March or uh, May, I mean. Last time I used the 360 cam, I forgot to uh, <clears throat> configure the settings in my uh, editor. And instead of 4K 360 video, I got 1080. The videos are still pretty cool. I just wish that the, the video quality is a little bit better. So, should be pretty good in this one. I had both cameras set up at uh, 4K 50 frames per second. That's all the higher the 360 cam will go in 4K is 50 frames per second. So and the camera on my controller, I, I just set it to match. That way when I get it on the timeline, I, you know, both cameras are matching. And I can set the timeline up. Um, I got I got my timeline line set up so the cameras are shooting at 50 frames per second, but I'm gonna um, edit and render everything at 30 on a 30 frames per second timeline. Actually, no, 24 per second, frames per second timeline. So if I want to do slow mo, I got double the amount of frames needed on the timeline to where I could half it if I needed to. So if you got, you know, say, say you shot it in uh, 50 frames per second like I did, and you set your time up lined up for 50 frames per second, it's just not going to come out looking as good, especially if you slow mo it. It'll still be good looking, but just not as good as what you can get away with um, by having it and cutting your timeline uh, FPS in half. The honcho is rolling on uh, Proline Super Swampers <clears throat> with the me gold method wheels. Um, the rears have the Proline dual stage foams. The front has uh, Free Brothers uh, anti foams, I think they're called. Those 3D printed foams. Uh, it's got a servo. Uh, yeah, servo mounted axle, axle mounted servo, God, I can't talk. It's got, a, got an axle mounted servo from G-Speed, it's running the Shift RC's X5. Well, it's got the Vitavon uh, bracing system, it's got Vitavon trans transmission case, um, front Vitavon 
overdrive gear um, and then a rear rear vertilon standard gear. It's running on Injora axles. I believe other than that, I believe everything else is stock. Other than I kind of made a little custom mount out of a piece of aluminum. And I got all my electronics sitting right up front, front, under the hood. So I moved electronics forward. And then that's my Insta360 cam you can see mounted on the side. I, I made those little antenna things out of uh, uh, bicycle cable tubing, basically. I think they look pretty cool. I just like the way they kind of twang around. And the ones you, the ones you can buy are kind of too stiff. They're just a solid piece of uh, metal. Thinking about extending the wheelbase in the rear. I know some people are doing it like three quarters of an inch, and I, I think they're just getting different lengths or rod ends. I don't want to extend the rear out a little bit. I do wish I could have afforded the Vitavon uh, portal axles, but uh, those suckers are pretty pricey. I got the Endura axles, everything, knuckles and everything, you know, the housing, the knuckles, uh, and the hubs uh, for a hundred and I'll say it's 164. They sell them for 174 on eBay, but if you offer them 164, they'll take it. Yeah, outside of that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, but I think everything else is stock. Other than I had to do some, I had to make my own little uh, fourth link for the front, and I also made. My steering links and stuff, uh, all the same stuff, which is, you know, some, uh, stock brass and rod. Fun truck, I haven't had her out for a while. I also recently did a trade and got an Axial SCX6 Jeep Wrangler. Um, I took that out for a run here at the same spot and I got the tires wet and you know there's it's a known issue for some of these aluminum wheels, beadlock wheels, if you get them wet the tires will spin, they don't have enough clamping force. Um, so that's what happened and so um, debating whether I'm gonna do anything with that I definitely plan on this week, which is right now is April 30th, um, or next week, um, heading back up here and maybe hit a different spot up after I get these uh, wheels and tires for the Wrangler fixed so they won't spin when they get wet. Yeah, you can see my little antennas that I made there. Just went and bought some, a variety of spring pack and found a couple springs that fit them. Some heat shrink and uh, I had some little things that I could use to mount. But, uh, I got a lathe here in my garage, so I cut a piece of gra grass and cut it to size and then drilled and tapped it. Probably, God, what time is it? Not steady, you know, I was kind of up on and off the computer and taking breaks. Probably about six, seven hours to edit this video. I'm wondering how long it takes. I didn't sit, sit down and just power through it, you know, probably would have taken less time, but you know, all total, 
what when I started and when I finished about six to seven hours. It definitely takes longer when you combine two videos and cut cut little clips and, and intermingle them together. Thinking next time, I didn't want to do. I was gonna do it. And I, I knew I should, but <clears throat> next time I'm definitely going roof mount with the camera. Um, I mean, the side one was okay, but um, I did the def one with my Defender, and that was mounted on my roof. And uh, I just like the ability you can look down and see both front wheels and the hood, and still see forward. So I think it, I think it just looks better. The hard part is, you know, even though I can spin this 360, um, I gotta know when I want to use the 360. So I have to be off camera myself with with the other camera and my controller. So right now I'm obviously I, I made a conscious decision to stand behind the car so I can get some forward shooting footage with the 360. Here. This whole area right here will fill up and be underwater. Um, the lake is still filling up. Probably, it might might be pretty close to being underwater by the time I get back, back to this area. So as I'm doing my editing, to, to keep the camera locked in the rear position, I'm select, selecting targets. So I'm like selecting a rock, or I'll select uh, I'll select the tire mount at the back of my vehicle, or sometimes I'll select the dashboard there. And it locks the camera into that position for a little bit. It slowly unlocks, but it's enough to where I can. X amount of distance before you know the lock goes away. So like, that's kind of the object tracking. Sometimes you can track for a long time. Sometimes you know, you know like <clears throat> on the computer screen, it starts out as a big square, and it's that square slowly shrinks till it's down to almost a little dot. Then when the dot goes away, you have to reset and, re and uh, track again. But then. <clears throat> That's on the that's on the 360 editor app of the camera, and then I then I take the uh, I make a video out file out of it, and then I put it into my my video editor. So I'm literally running it through two editors. The only reason why I put it through my editor is so I can do more with my editor. man it's about the, uh, getting close to the end of the video uh, thanks for watching um, hit the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed and I'll subscribe back quick and easy way to if you got content on your channel I'll subscribe back quick and easy way to get subscribed to your, to your channel 
yeah, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe. And uh, RC for life and peace out. Let me know what you think about the onboard footage. Should I keep doing it now and then? It's not something I do a lot, but you know. Now I'm probably going to do it anyways now and then. But let me know what you think about it. I think if it was on the roof, it'd probably look a little better. I just didn't want to throw a hole. We gotta get us uh, a mount of this in his foot. Sticky mounts. So I need to get another sticky mount. Looking up at the big tree. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.